Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today I want to talk to you about my progress on my comic book drawings. But I don't want to just stand here and talk, so I will start and kind of redraw this drawing. I did this in early 2019. Looks a bit like my hair, but this is because of Corona, but no excuse for this one. So I will start to redraw this now and talk to you about my progress during the drawing. So let's do that. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. But now let's draw! Okay, so now you will be able to watch the redraw right here. When I first started this YouTube channel almost two years ago, my goal was to find out how to produce drawing videos people might want to watch. I was trying out different things, but my main focus always has been comic book drawings. And although it's way easier to get attention on YouTube with colorful stuff like doodles and stuff like that, I decided to stick with comics again. Cause they are just my greatest passion. And CHC kinda left the building on the comic book front, so I thought someone needs to take over anyway. So... I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! But not just CHC was one of my inspirations, also the box office artist was one of my favorite artists on YouTube. And I also did some drawings in his style. But his drawings are very sketchy. And after studying all kinds of comic book drawings, I asked myself, what do I want to achieve? Something like this? Or something like this? And I clearly took the hard choice. Don't get me wrong, I love the box office artist. His channel is brilliant. But drawings from David Finch and Jim Lee, they are just on a completely different level. Which means that's the direction I went for. Trying to get to such a high level is quite hard, but I'm on the best way to get there. I got the power! A lot of studying and a lot of drawing is key. The most I learned from David Finch, not just from his great videos on his YouTube channel, but also from redrawing some of his artwork. And that's what I also would suggest to you guys. If you want to get better at drawing, check out my Drawing Like David Finch series here on this channel and try to do the same thing. This helped me out so much. But it's hard. You have to figure out everything. From the gesture drawings to the details, all these foreshortenings. That's quite a lot to take in. But like I said, that really made a big difference for me. And you can check that out on my channel because all of the drawing I did over the last year, I filmed them all. Every single one of them. Except from the ones in this book. That's a sketchbook filled with mostly gesture drawings, which, by the way, are the most important exercises if you want to learn how to draw comic book characters. I should do a video about that. So yeah, do a lot of those. Okay, but now let's check out how this drawing is coming along and I will talk to you guys later. Okay guys, I sketched it out and I already traced the most important lines with a 0.1 fine liner from Micron. And it already looks better than that. <laughs> <laughs> and for the next step we need my beloved brush pen to do the strong blacks. But before we do these strong blacks, let me tell you a bit more about my progress. I redrew this Son Goku in a Western comic book style for my Rocktober series right here. And that's a good way to check out my progress. Those have been 8 months apart. And when you take a look at the older drawing, the hatching is really not good. Not good at all. It's The lines are too thin, they would need to be less apart than this, so more narrow. And if you take a look at the ribs, it just looks like, like 6 circles. They are too look-alike. And also the abdominal muscles are way too boring. On the other hand, when you check out this drawing, that's more like the stuff I'm doing now. You can see the hatching, it really comes out of the strong blacks. I used the strong blacks more wisely. The light is coming from this direction, so you can see the upper arm is in total darkness because of the shadow. Yeah, and that's 
that's a quite good example for the progress. When you check out this original character, it's better and it's not as old as the first Sangoku I just showed you. But still, the hatching isn't good enough. It's not really coming out of the blacks. It's just, there are the strong blacks and there are some hatching lines next to it. And also the distance between those lines, it's way too much. On the other hand, when you take this caped fella right here, looks totally different. First of all, the posture is better and also big difference again, the hatching lines. They really come out of the strong blacks as they are supposed to be. But if you want to know how this works, just check out my strong blacks video I did a couple of days ago. Okay, but that's enough with that. Now let's go back to the drawing. Oh, and by the way, this map, all drawings I did for YouTube but those are not all of them. There are three more maps like that, some loose drawings and a couple hanging on the walls around the house. So I've been busy. Okay, but now strong blacks. Ow. Ow. Okay my friends, the strong blacks are done, which means the next step will be all the rendering, the hatching and the cross hatching. But before we start this process, I will show you another example of my progress. Oh hell no! When I did this drawing, which is a quite fun one with all those doodles in the background, you can see I've already evolved quite a bit. It's not too bad, but still, if you look closer, you can see the hatching got clearly better. But still, some anatomy stuff is not working quite right. Because when you look at this forearm, for example, it looks a bit weird. It looks like a robot arm or something like that. So when you compare that with one of my more recent drawings of Nightwing here, um, you can see this forearm looks pretty cool. That's a whole different level. The muscles on this forearm are just lengthy shapes. On the other hand, literally, you can see the more jagged shape is pretty cool. Also the veins, of course. But what I really meant is the anatomy, like it's way broader here than down there. And you can see the bone, which is a very nice landmark to put in there. So if you compare those two, you can see the difference, I guess. Also with this arm, it's a quite similar pose. So we can compare those as well. This one, the same shapes over and over again. And this one has a really cool shape. I stole this from David Finch. He does this all the time. The muscle is quite narrow and then becomes quite broad. Not just David Finch actually, it's also quite often to be seen in the studies of George Bridgman, which is great anatomy stuff, if you like the realistic looks. Okay, but now let's do some cross hatching. For the hatching and the line weight, I will mostly use my Tombow brush pen. This is such a great all-rounder, really check it out. Um, the link is down in the description. But there's one thing I want to do first. If you take a look at the drawing, I think this hand might be a little bit too long. It's quite hard to do those for shortenings. In this case, the fist is very small because it's, it's stretched backwards, which is okay, but I think when it's stretched backwards so much that the fist is only this size, the whole arm would need to be a little bit uh, shorter. So what I can do now is I can cheat a little bit because the light is coming from above, also a bit from, from this direction. That's where the light comes from in this drawing. So this side is in total shade. So I can just simply cheat and make this area a little bit bigger. So the whole hand gets bigger and thus the arm isn't stretched so much in the back. Let me show you what I mean. I will just add more black areas here. The whole arm will be thicker and I think it will look better. Not so much here, I guess here it's okay. The upper arm will be okay, but the forearm, I guess it's a little bit too thin. Let's see if this works out. And that's it. You can see it's bigger now and for me it looks way better like this. But now it's time for the details, so let me count you in. One, two, three, four.
and the details are done! And I dare say it already looks a little bit better than the first one. <laughs> ha. But this one is colored, so let's do some colors as well. I will use some Copic markers, warm grey tones, because this one is also just grey, grey and blackish. So let's do some colors! Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, we did the grey tones, so now we need skin color and yellow, and then I guess we're done! Okay guys, are you ready? We are done with the redraw. And I would say it's fairly better. Maybe, maybe not. That was fun, let me know down in the comments if you liked those videos as well where I redraw one of my old art because I would like to do that again. But now I will give you guys a proper reveal. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And have a great day my friends. See you on the next video. Bye. Yeah.